Today for my bag of Melodyne tricks, tailoring the tempo curve to untidy performances. When bands are recorded live, the performance is seldom tight throughout. Here, we see the drummer. Down here, the bass player. And in the middle, the guitarist. The guitar here has fallen behind. You can correct this nicely in Melodyne. Just move the notes towards the drums. If such imperfections start to mount up, however, especially if there are several offending instruments spread over different tracks, you might prefer, rather than correcting each note individually, to use the quantized time macro, which is a lot quicker. The macro, however, depends on the time grid, so this must be as near perfect as possible. But what does perfect mean in the case of a live recording? Let's look closer at how the time grid is created. When the first file is imported, the tempo detection is performed. You can see the results in the tempo map, which in turn, as the lines extend down, so to speak, into the note editor, defines the grid. If additional files are dragged into the song later, these have no effect on the curve. Whether or not the tempo of these additional files is adjusted by means of time stretching depends on the status of the auto stretch switch. Both options, auto stretch on and off, have their uses. If you're adding a drum loop to a piano part that was recorded live, switch auto stretch on. Then the loop adopts the feel of the pianist. If, on the other hand, you are adding a track taken from the same live take, switch auto stretch off since the two musicians were performing together. You don't want to hear them apart through time stretching. Staying with the case where we have several tracks from the same live recording, you need to decide which track to drag in first. A track with a lot of pauses, such as a vocal track, would certainly be a poor choice, because in the pauses, Melodyne, finding no notes, will just have to guess. It's better to take an instrument that's playing throughout, such as a rhythm guitar or bass. In the interest of simplicity, you could drag all the tracks into the project in one go. Then Melodyne will search all the tracks simultaneously for notes to determine the common tempo of the band. Let's look here at the details. In passages that are well played, the musicians are tightly in sync. Melodyne has no difficulty in such cases locating the beats. But where the band is less tight, Melodyne must decide in favor of one musician. Here, though, the drums are early, the guitar very late, the bass somewhere in the middle, the golden mean, more or less. So that's where Melodyne has placed the beat. If you now quantize the guitar, it will be governed by the bass. Only in this position, though, because somewhere else the beat might be aligned with a drum stroke. Here, the guitar, when quantized, would snap to the drums. To bring greater uniformity to all this, you have several options. To begin with, when dragging your first tracks into the song, you are recommended to choose only those that are rhythmically tight. You can drag in the other tracks later, in this case, with auto stretch off. If there are still some problem areas, you can trigger a fresh detection in which only selected notes will be taken into consideration. For instance, a few guitar notes. Here, only the bottom strings, if the top ones weren't quite as well timed. You might add a few notes from the bass guitar. In this way, you cherry pick the notes which, in your opinion, were perfectly timed, leaving the stray notes out of consideration. Now you can trigger a new tempo detection based on this selection, the results of which replace the existing curve. A third handy option for correcting the tempo map involves reshaping the curve using the tools in the tempo editor. Let's go back to the passage we saw earlier. Here the drums are playing. The guitar was much later. The bass, too, sounded after the drums and it was there that Melodyne originally placed the beat. Let's move this beat now, using the wave tool, towards the drums, so that the grid and drums are now in alignment, meaning that if we quantize the bass and guitar, they'll also gravitate towards the drums. Music 
As an alternative to the Wave tool, you could use the Move tool. This is normally quantized and serves to correct displacement of the metronome click. If we switch off the Snap function, however, the Move tool also allows continuous adjustment. Now align the beats precisely with the drums. I'll do this here for all beats. The result looks like this. The more beats are aligned with the drums, the more accurately the tempo curve will reflect the performance of the drummer, and the more tightly the performances of the other musicians will be tied to his. When you have finished, you can smooth over any steps in the curve. The notes of the other musicians just corrected will remain, despite this, in the places to which they have been assigned.